Are you feeling the calling to start or grow a business that is so aligned with you and everything that makes up who you are? Do you know that there has to be a way to do this without so much hustle and without chasing the latest shiny objects, but you're just not sure how? You can definitely have a dream business that improves, not consumes your life, that allows you to work with soulmate clients while helping you and your family financially and in all ways. You can elevate yourself to be the entrepreneur who has all of her desires. I'm going to show you how on the Elevated Femmes Movement. back with the last episode of this podcasting mini series that I've been sharing with you over the past couple of days. If you have missed any of the episodes, please make sure that you go back. Uh, Make sure that you go back to starting with episode 57, which is getting ready to easefully start your podcast. And then make sure you check out episode 58, which uh, we talk about how to maximize your podcast results. And in this episode, the third one in the series, we're going to talk about how to use podcasting to scale your business. And, you know, I know that we have, we talked a little bit about like, you know, podcasting, podcasting can seem like a, a cool, fun, kind of like a trendy thing to be doing, but you really want it to make sense for your business. And then once you get started, once you do, you know, put out your show, we talked about how to maximize it, how to make the mess, make the most out of it, how to get it in front of lots of potential clients, customers, you know, ideal people to have in your in your ecosystem. And then now we really want to talk about how to take that to the next level. So one of the things that people ask me a lot is, okay, should I really be paying attention to downloads? Um, do they matter? Do I need to launch my podcast and, you know, try to get into like the top 100, um, top, you know, 10, whatever, right away. And it's one of those things like it depends, but here is what I want you to think about. Because either way, you're not wrong. I just really think it depends on your purpose. So it goes back to like that purpose that you have for your show. So if you are if you are already a very well known entrepreneur, um, if you have a large following already, you've been in business for a while, it could probably like it might not be hard to get you to rank when you launch your podcast. It takes um, and, you know, it takes a little bit of work and effort, but it is not. It's definitely not impossible. I can share with you what some of these, um, what some of these stats need to be so that you can rank in the top charts. So if you, um, if you put out an episode and within seven days of its release, you get more than 29 downloads, you're in the top 50% of podcasts. If you have more than 101 downloads, you're in the top 25% of podcasts. If you have more than 386 downloads, you're in the top 10%. If you have more than 938 downloads, you're in the top 5%. And if you have more than 4,683 downloads, then you're in the top 1% of podcasts. So as you can see, it is not super difficult to, you know, if you already have a following to get into like the top 50% or top 25% of podcasts, it's just about communicating with your audience that, you know, you're either putting out a brand new podcast or that you have a new episode coming out. And this is why it's really important to really market your episodes as soon as they come out. So like within the first, like the first and second day, are like the the most important days because people, you know, it might take people like a couple days to like get to that content um, or they might see it and then remember a few days later like, oh yeah, I meant to check out that podcast, right? So it's important to be marketing your episodes as soon as you can. Uh, but yeah, I mean, 29 downloads is, is not hard even for a brand new person. So again, it goes back to why marketing is so important. Now, what I also want to make sure that you guys know is that these metrics, you know, like you might see entrepreneurs bragging like, oh, I had 5,000 downloads this month, or I have 10,000 downloads this month. What you don't know is like, how do they get those downloads? Are those all legitimate 
downloads, right? And not to say that that person might be doing anything, you know, weird or unethical. I'm just saying like, you never, you don't know the whole story. These are just vanity numbers because download numbers are not the same as like, um, I would say like social media likes, right? They're, they're, I mean, you could actually almost compare them to social media. Like, like, yeah, it might mean that people like it, but it doesn't, but does it really mean that people are going to like take action and buy from that person? No. Right. But downloads, for example, on YouTube are so much higher than on social media, right? Because that's just like how that algorithm for that specific platform is set up to be, right? So um, that's why I don't want you guys to get discouraged if your download numbers are not super high, like other people are bragging out on the interwebs, right? Okay, so another thing that I want you to think about in terms of scaling your business and um it's about like not not being afraid to test things um you know one thing that I know works in the online space is launches right it's not everybody likes doing them but they work right they work when you want to scale your business it's a great way to be able to get people to sign up for your program like at once, right? Like with one big batch of new clients. So you could test doing that on your podcast. Um, You could definitely like either reshare your, your, you know, live launch um, videos, take the audio and put them on your podcast and repurpose them, which, you know, you guys know, I love repurposing, or you can do what I'm doing right now and do like a mini series Um, that specifically talks about the thing that you do and how you help people and then give people a chance to know how they can work with you. So these are things to think about and, and like be really intentional and mindful of how you're using your podcast. Um, Make sure that you're always serving, serve, 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 serve more than you sell, just like in anything, in any other platform, in any other thing that you do, um, you you know, you should be serving more than you than you sell because that's how you really get people to trust you and to know that you want to help them. And even if that means that, you know, they're consuming your content, but they go work with someone else, you know, you have, we have no control over that, right? Like it happens to all of us. Um, but we can't, what we can control is that we are putting out our best content out there, putting our best, um, our best selves out there, uh, truly serving, truly being there for the people that need to hear a message for the people that need our help. That really is what, what's important. And we have our own unique way of doing that because we're all, we're all individuals. So I hope that this gives you a little bit more insight into, um, what scaling your podcast can be about, um, there's so many other things that you could do. I mean, there's definitely like you could do sponsors. Um, I typically, that's not something that I'm at the time I'm really focusing on just because I feel, I want you to be your own sponsor. I want your programs, your offerings to be the sponsors of your podcast. I want your, what you're already doing, what you're already creating, what you're already doing to help people to be what is helping you produce your podcast. All that can come later on. So to get started, I just want you to focus on everything that I've talked about over the past couple of days. That's all you need to get out there and put on a great, wonderful show. And if you are like Julia, you are speaking my language. Um, I love your energy. I love your passion. Um, I see how this makes sense for me. And I'm curious what it would be like to work with you. I would love to invite you to book a free discovery call where we can talk about how I like to work with my clients um, and how I can help your specific business to, to have an amazing podcast that you love showing up for and that ultimately helps your bottom line. So if that is you, if you're a hard-led entrepreneur, especially if you are in the health and wellness space and self-development mindset, all of that, that's my jam. 
and I would love to chat with you. So make sure that you book a time. And um, I do have, if you decide that you do want to go forward with working with me before the end of this month. So I'm recording these in October. So before the end of October 2022, uh, you will get a special bonus of uh, a list of podcasts that you can book yourself on because that is actually something that I didn't get to chat about much in this episode. But one of the best ways to grow your podcast is actually by going on other people's podcast because people are already listening to you on a podcast, right? So if you go and you do an interview with another podcaster, they're listening on a podcast device, right? So if you give them the call to action to, you know, go find your podcast, hey, it's already, you know, it's already convenient for them because they're already on there on their device and they can just search for your show. So yes, don't just be a podcaster. Make sure that you're also a podcast um, guest so that you are putting yourself out there, um, networking with other podcasters and, um, and getting people to like easily find your show and listen to it and subscribe and get to, to know and love you. Um, I hope that this was super helpful for you. I've really enjoyed um, creating these episodes and um, I can't wait. I can't wait to create even more. But again, if you're ready to chat, if you're ready, if you know that before the end of the year, you want to launch your show or if you already have a show and you need some help with just rebranding and just making it even way better than nerdy is, then let us chat. Don't wait another day where we can get started with this, you know, rather quickly. So have an amazing day. Thank you so much for your time over the the past few days. And I will talk to you later. Thank you for listening to the Elevated Femmes Movement. I would love to hear your thoughts on the podcast. So please leave us a review. If you know someone who could benefit from the episodes on the show, please share it with them. We need more women elevating to their highest potential, enjoying all the great things in life, having plenty of time freedom for their children and loved ones, while growing a business that improves, not consumes their life, and doing things in a smarter, not harder way. To connect with me and download my free resources, please go to www.juliamhickman.com.